upon all the countries they will ask you is it egypt that you so your accommodation there would be messed up like you spend a lot of money getting an accommodation and you end up not getting the visa for the Ghanaians, there are certain things that are very difficult to get in this country but just be persistent and be ready to face whatever that is ahead of you what is there in egypt that made you choose it what is there on my instagram and on my tiktok people have been sending me messages asking me the process of how i was able to go to egypt how was i able to get the visa is there any visa available like a whole lot of questions that i need to answer i basically went to egypt i didn't just wake up got some money then flew to egypt no I went to Egypt through an organization called ISEC. ISEC is an international organization for the youth. Um, it helps in building leadership skills. It helps people to volunteer in other countries as well, which is great because through them, that's why I was able to go to Egypt and I've traveled to Rwanda as well. It was through them as well. So big ups to ISEC. You guys are making me travel and that's so good, right? Yeah. If you're a Ghanaian or let's say you're from West Africa and you want to go to Egypt, you would need a visa to get to Egypt. For Ghanaians, going to Egypt is not visa free. You need a visa to go to Egypt. For visa applications, Egypt, you do not have to go to their website because there is nothing there on the website. You will not find anything. I tried. So I'm talking from experience. So you have to go to the embassy in your city. They are in Accra in Ghana. I don't know of other countries, but go to the embassy. Go there, tell them you want to apply for a visa. It's simple as that. Let me tell you this. You do not need any middleman for any applications. They will give you your forms. They have all the requirements that you need to gather and bring for them to process your visa for you. Let me tell you this. It's not guaranteed that you are going to get a visa, but let's be hopeful anytime you go there to get a visa. We are all hopeful that we will get it at some point in time. Take the forms, go home, relax and do what prepare all your documents because if you do not relax and gather the correct document and you submit they will not give you the visa some of the documents that you need is your passport it should be valid it should not be expiring like six months you also get a yellow vaccination card from if you're in ghana yellow vaccination card have your ghana card ready you should also um, have your bank statement if you are the one sponsoring yourself you should bring out a bank statement proving that you can look after yourself when you go there proof of funds yes that's basically that if someone is sponsoring you you have to bring that person's um bank statement showing that the person can afford to um sponsor you for your trip Another one on the list is um, you have to go to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in your country. You need to get a legal document from them and they have to let you be able to get those documents. So you go to them, you tell them you want this, you want that. They'll provide it to you. A note for the Ghanaians. There are certain things that are very difficult to get in this country, but just be persistent and be ready to face whatever that is ahead of you and go to foreign affairs and get those documents. So basically, these are just the documents that they would need from you. If it's volunteering you are going to do the whatever thing you are going to do you need to provide a letter or something proving that this is what you're going to do. So I for instance went for volunteering so i submitted my letter to them that oh this is my letter from isaac proving that i am going for volunteering in egypt and that was it so that one should also be part of it it's there they've listed it so you go then bring all those documents then you submit to them the moment you submit to them the lady will look through there's a lady at the receptionist um at the embassy of the egypt embassy in ghana she will look to verify that everything is correct then they will tell you to go when the visa is ready they will call you if it's not ready they will let you know mind you the time for the visa to process me it took two months and some days for my visa to be ready and it was something else because I needed to know whether 
probably i will have the visa to travel or not and it doesn't give you the chance to prepare for your trip which is actually bad i don't know but for some people it comes and some people too it doesn't come but most people i've heard from are telling me that it takes time for you to get visa so note that so if you want to go plan ahead go early three months four months then you apply for the visa otherwise you'll be found wanting once they give you the visa you go ahead and book your ticket there's a whole lot of airlines there that is available for you to book your ticket i booked the egypt airline because i thought that was a direct flight to egypt i didn't want it to take qatar i didn't want it to take like other airlines i took egypt air but my experience with egypt air was so bad so so bad because i never expected the airline or i never expected the plane and the services they provide to be that bad for sure if you've taken egypt air you would definitely be saying yes you'll be nodding that yes girl you are telling the truth services is so bad the plane is not very comfortable the air hostess and the men like you, you call them you want you want them to do something for you and their reaction towards you as if they don't want to help you and that's so bad so egypt air uh, please do better because people are complaining we pay money to you to give us a better service and if you deliver bad service you're not going to take that airline again you can choose other airlines if it's egypt air if it is um ethiopian airline if it is qatar airline whatever airline you want to choose choose it properly know the amount let it be in your budget don't go and choose an expensive airline check three or four airlines then choose from the ones that you think is best and it's in your budget one thing i want you guys all to do is your next trip to egypt or your next trip to any other country please do everything by yourself it is not difficult it's so easy if you're able to read and write do everything by yourself booking flights is just reading through it knowing what to do what to take what to not take paying that's all you don't need to struggle you don't need to go through a lot you don't need to pay money for someone to help you so please let us all be doing these things by ourselves so we can find it easy booking trips traveling and all that once you get your ticket you get your visa you are good to go you are good to go to egypt there's a whole lot of things you can do in egypt people underestimate that country but let me tell you i really did enjoy myself there's a whole lot of things that i didn't know i can do there but i was able to do it the country is not that as bad as people say it and if you've not watched my other videos go watch my other videos and you'll be surprised and you'll be amazed at the things i was able to do when i went there and the fun that i had there's more information there go and watch or comment down below whatever you think you need to know and i will be glad to answer you and follow me on all my instagram and my tiktok platforms so that you can get the best of content that you need not only here but also on tiktok on instagram go follow me if you're watching this video and you've not followed me on tiktok instagram what are you waiting for what check the description box down below check my tiktok page check my instagram page for more content if you've watched this video to this part or to this length and you've not subscribed what are you waiting for like those that they've watched and they've not subscribed that means you don't like me you don't like me and that's so sad like it's so sad please subscribe okay subscribe after you book the flight on your itinerary you are going to know the time that you'll be leaving your country and the time that you'll be arriving to egypt it has the times there it has the gates it has the terminal that you'll be going to if you're going to the airport you need to go let's say one hour or two hours approximately two hours three hours early to the airport otherwise you'll be found wanting because there is going to be checking checking means um they'll have to check your bags they'll have to check the weight of the bags and everything then you pass through the immigration they'll look at everything that you have on your passport whether it's correct whether it's okay then they will let you through so you have to go early so that you can join the queue if there's no queue 
you can do all these processes early and be free otherwise if you are late you are going to miss your flight and that is a bad call after you check in you go to the immigration immigration will take your passport ask you a couple of questions like what are you going to do in egypt they will take your proof that means that you are going to do something in egypt if it's just for um for tour you just tell them you are going there to have a vacation so you show them your hotel that you've booked that you are going to stay there for vacation so it's simple as that they will ask you questions you just answer them simple as such if you don't know you just tell them you don't know don't be rude so yeah when you're leaving your country let's say ghana you need to change your ghana cities into dollars for you to be able to get to egypt change the dollars into their egyptian pound as well you don't also need to carry a whole lot of money on you because when you have a lot of money and you get to the airport they will ask you and they will let you remove that money so you have to have an atm card or a visa card put all your money there and just leave a small amount of dollars on you because when you get to the airport in egypt you have to change the money then use it to take a cab to wherever you're going mm -hmm. advice take an uber download uber these are some tips i'm giving to you guys download uber and let the uber take you to where you're going because it's going to cost you a lot of money if you take a private cab or whatever cab is there note it since they speak arabic please download a google translator so that in case you want to tell them something you can translate into arabic for them for easy communication when you go there so uber google translator and for food in case you want food and you don't want to go out this food app is called talabat talabat is going to help you with ordering food with ordering food items and that is also an easy thing to get just download all these things before you get to egypt once you get to the country be free be happy there are things that you need to know when you get to egypt there are things they do there are things that they don't do it's in my other video it's up here please go check it out so that you can be safe in that country the country is a safe country there are bad people everywhere there are good people also in egypt they have beautiful places you can visit they have beautiful activities you can do in the country and you will love it you really love it thank you guys for watching this video i hope the information i gave out is going to help a lot of people not even going to egypt but also other countries as well and please support your girl subscribe for me anytime i post a video please subscribe and i will not disappoint because it's the consistency for me i am posting every week and you guys know that the number of subscribers i have and the views i'm getting it is appalling so please do well and grow with me because you are not growing with me share this video comment and like this video anytime i upload on this channel i love you all guys and there is something coming up and i'll let you guys know in the community section of this channel there's something big coming yeah there is i love you all guys stay tuned i love you bye